Hey guys, MultigameMaster1 here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we wrapped things up in the Dusty Doom Galaxy and began exploring the Gold Leak Galaxy, and in this episode, we're going to continue from that point. But before we do, I actually want to show you guys something. So, I forgot to show this on camera, but this teleportation pad here was completely inactive. However, you could activate it by just standing on top of it, and let me show you where it goes. It goes down to the first floor of the observatory, next to the storybook room. And I just thought I'd like to show you guys that, and share that with you guys. Um, yeah, you can use it to get back up instead of taking the long way around. It's kind of a handy shortcut. But anyway, um, with that, let's just head back to the Goat Leaf Galaxy now. Alright, so let's move on to episode 3. When it rains, it pours. That's what they all say. And indeed, we do see that when it rains, it does indeed pour. Small dark storm clouds form over the galaxies. But that's a little bit unnatural if you ask me. I mean, small storm clouds forming thunderstorms? I mean... It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't even happen in real life. But um, I'm not going to question it whatsoever. Um, so, what we want to do is to make our way to the very top of the tree. Uh, no, this isn't the way. We actually need a bee costume in order to keep going. And there it is up there. And as you may recall, B Mario cannot walk on flowers, he can also not walk on storm clouds either, so it is necessary to become a bee for this episode. Okay, let's grab this swing and hop onto the storm cloud and progress from there. And this is classic platforming right here. Here we have a frightened bee. It's just gonna say that someone has taken over the top of the treehouse. And that's actually not a good sign for us or the bees as well, so we're actually going to drive them out. Avoid coming in contact with the raindrops underneath the storm clouds or you will lose your power. Okay, let's move right along, round pound on this trampoline, and progress further. Here you want to pay attention to the dampen areas, that's where the rain has recently fallen. And you just want to stay out of those spots while it's raining. We have one right above us. Let's go ahead and ride on this cloud. And if we grab this coin, we have more star bits, and I just lost my beef power, but I don't think we'll need it from here on out. Oh, wait, actually we do. But it's okay. Um, you could just come down here and get another bee mushroom. And if I could just reach up there, I know I can. And... I already showed you the right path to go, let's just take a shortcut, if I can reach there, oh boy. Okay. Alright, now we're back on track. Let's ground pound on this rock and have a stomp sprout and if we could grab it and move right along so here we have a money mode that's taking control of a water cannon 
and defeating it is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is avoid the water bubbles and ground pound on the cockpit that he's in. And of course, his cannon will start to jam at times, and that's your best bet on when you want to attack him. So if you ground pound three times, he will be defeated and the cannon will be destroyed. Uh, sorry about the sudden voice crack. Um... So let's head over there and grab the Power Star. Oh, one thing I can show you guys, you can also get to him by ground pounding on the switch and raising the platforms. Just in case you lose your B costume. So now everything is done in the Gold Leaf Galaxy. Excluding the Prankster Comet, let's just see if it's in orbit. It's not in orbit. Let's just go ahead and tackle this bonus planet for now, which is the Bone Thing Galaxy. And I'm pretty sure that by the time we get everything done in this galaxy, the Prankster Comet will appear above the Gold Leaf Galaxy. So Bone Thing Galaxy, bonus episode, King Finn's Fearsome Waters. So here we have just a star shroom inside and no uh, star shroom here in this galaxy and no toad inside. Hmm. Wonder what's going on. Well let's just fly to the planet and find out what indeed is going on. Uh-oh. Not good. And there is both been the mo Bone Finn, the most terrifying amphibious creature to ever exist in the universe. But it's pretty simple for defeating him. It takes a while to defeat him. All you gotta do is just grab some shells. There are green shells down here, but there are also red shells. But anyway, you just want to grab the shells and hit them wherever you want to. And you want to watch out for the little fishing underwater missiles that he spawns and constantly fill yourself with air so that way you'll be able to survive okay so here's a red shell the thing about the red shells is well bone thing can escape from you pretty easily but if you use the red shell you can catch up to him pretty easily green shells just slow you down so there's a difference between that and between the two shells oh and here we have a super mushroom I'm gonna take that. He's already taken three hits. And now he's even going to be extremely agitated. It's one more of those fish missiles. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. But anyway, we're good to hit him with another shell. And I wasn't paying attention at that point. Okay, so we have another shell, now we just have to find Bone Finn. Uh, King Finn, I'm sorry. Oh, he was right there! <laughs> that was pretty ironic. He damaged me, I damaged him. Um, so one more hit should probably finish him off. And indeed it does. So after taking lots of damage from the shell, he splits apart, and his bones are shattered. Kingfin is now no more. Now we can just grab the power star and leave.
And just as I predicted, the cosmic comet is in the Gold Leaf Galaxy's orbit, so let's go ahead and accept the challenge. Gold Leaf Galaxy Cosmic Episode Cosmic Mario Forest Race So this is pretty much a repeat of the third episode of this galaxy, except it's much shorter. Let's just go ahead and land and find Cosmic Mario. He's right over there. And once again, he's going to challenge us to yet another race. Um, let me see if I can pull the boost right this time. There we go. Yeah, if you time it correctly, you'll get a nice boost like that. And now we just want to move along this path and get to the Power Star before Cosmic Mario does. Here we have a Life Shroom. Now let's just long jump through here. And just run on ahead to the Power Star. And so we win yet again. Save our game? No. Um, let's go ahead and explore this galaxy, the Sea Slide Galaxy. Which appears to be another tropical galaxy like the Beach Ball Galaxy. Sea Slide Galaxy, Episode 1 Going After Guppy. Alright, so if we go over here and talk to the leader of the Toads, we'll know what to do. So that's the hooligan that's been causing trouble. Yeah, well, I'll teach him. Uh, no, you stay behind. Because we can all tell that you're very terrified by the way he looks. Stupid Toad. Now, who do we have here? You some friend of those penguins? Let's get something clear here, Landwalker. This sea's mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make it through eight rings. Fine, we will. I don't know why they put a timer there. But I guess it's just how the game works. So, as Guppy said, we need to swim through all eight of his rings that... That he makes appear. They'll be marked with the number, so you'll know how many rings you'll have to go before you complete his test. And I recommend holding on to this red shell, because you can potentially use it to keep up with him, and the rings won't stay there for long. You only have a certain time limit to get and to swim through the rings before they disappear. And if you fail to pass through a ring, you will fail the test and ultimately lose a life. So we have, that was ring number three. Here's number two. I don't know why they marked, uh, I also don't know why they marked it with the countdown. They should have just counted straight up. But anyway, that was our last ring. We've completed the challenge, and now the power star is ours. And the penguins are free to roam around the sea yet again. Okay, um, let me think for a second, uh, future episode, 
Yeah, let's just go on ahead. Where? Cosmic Comet. Here we go again. Wow, it's already one galaxy after another, and already Cosmic Mario is challenging us to yet another race. Cosmic Episode. Underwater Cosmic Mario Race. By the way, just a quick heads up. This will be the very last time that Cosmic Mario challenges you to a race. So, hooray! We'll finally have beaten Cosmic Mario after all this time. With a total of four races. In retrospect, they probably should have added more. But anyway... Let's go ahead and race for the final time. So let's go in here and grab this red shell. And if you swim through these underwater hoops, you'll get you'll gain a speed boost, which will be pretty useful. Um, and if you're wondering what Cosmic Mario is doing back there, he actually has a shell of his own that he's going to use to catch up. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about that life shroom, because that will just slow us down. And now if we can get to the star before Cosmic Mario does, we can take it and win the final race. And we did! So, mission accomplished. And as I said before, that'll be the very last time that Mario, uh, Cosmic Mario, I should say, challenges us to a race. So no more Cosmic Comets. And of that, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I think that'll be it for this episode. In the next part, we're going to tackle the rest of the Sea Slide Galaxy and pick up some more Power Stars from there. So until next time, I'm Multigame Master 1, and I will see you guys later. Bye!